Alright guys, so the new trophy lodges were just released and we are here on Turbergold Trails to check them out. So we are going to enter the trophy lodge. Right now I have uh, no mounts, but I want to go in and see what we got. So we've got Flinter's Lodge 1. Click on that button. Actually, I can actually walk around. I can't equip any items. So we've got some pictures here, and I believe they said eventually we might be able to customize these. Pretty nice lodge. Oh, look at that. I knew I heard a clock. <laughs> Is that accurate? I... No, it's not my time, at least. Is it in game time? It might be. I don't know what time I spawned at, to be honest. I don't think it is. Yeah, it looks pretty nice in here. So now, we got to go out and try to get some trophies to hang in here. So I thought we'd come to Timbergold because it should be fairly easy to find, uh, like, an elk. Hopefully a decent mule deer. Maybe a bear and a wolf. Just to see what they look like. So we're going to fast travel down here. And we shall see about getting ourselves some trophies. Oh, we've got a buck right here. Right behind the stand. All right, we've got a whole pack of wolves coming in. There are animals absolutely everywhere. Try to take one of these wolves with our pulser if we can spot a decent male. I don't even know which one I'm spotting. Okay, that's a male. This is ridiculous. This is a good male. All right, he's down. We've spooked the others. There's a nice bull elk over there that just busted. Uh, along with that group of bucks. Wolves running around everywhere. I'm not going to shoot because I want to get on that elk. I think he was solid. He had a big frame. But this was a max weight or near max weight wolf. Hey, he'll be a decent one. 16.2. So now I don't know how you go about mounting it. Evidently, it's not in the trophy shot screen. You might have to go to the lodge at the end of the hunt. I really don't know. We're just going to take a quick trophy shot of them. And then go after that elk. All right, that'll work. Do you want to taxidermize this animal? So yes, for 10 EM we're going to do. There's also a GM option, but it's 2,000. I don't have many at the moment. I'm going to mount him. We've got taxidermy successful, taxidermied animals sent to trophy manager. So I think we're going to get to choose a pose and stuff for him uh, after. So we've actually got a different bull elk, which if he's decent, I will go ahead and take him rather than uh, taking the time to go after the other. Alright, so I lost the tracks of the uh, bull that we spooked, but this is the one that we had coming in before. We're just going to take him, because uh, the one that we spooked wasn't huge anyway. I'm just going to use the 30 out 6. Trying to just get a couple of trophies just to check out how everything looks. Uh, so rather than running around trying to find that other one's tracks and then being way behind it, I thought I'd come back for this one, uh, and it didn't take long to get a his call again. So this one's not huge, but it's not too bad. 341 score, not bad at all, actually. So we will say yes to taxidermizing him. So that one was successful. I imagine they will all be, but I suppose there could be a chance that something would happen. I believe you can mount the trophies at the end of the hunt or something, but it costs more. I can't remember exactly what they said. Uh, in their pre-release live stream, but we'll maybe be able to see that uh, at the end of the hunt. All right, we've got a real nice elk across the water, 315 to 500 score estimate. He's got a couple of short tines, but he looks really good. We'll just take him with a 30 odd six again. Down he goes. Left the cross over here. So I think we're going to be mounting two Rocky Mountain Elk, because this one looked quite solid. We'll grab him and see what he scores, but I think he's going to 
outscore our other one by a decent amount. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, 379. That's quite a nice one. Not the best looking trophy shot, but I'm pretty satisfied with that because I do want to taxidermize him as well. All right, so I definitely want to find a mule deer still. All right, we've got a pretty solid mule deer buck out here. 180 to 205 score estimate. He's got pretty long main beams and his tines in the back look all right. I don't know, he might score 190s. Down he goes. So he's going to be our last kill before we head to the lodge and check out what these guys look like mounted. Glad to get a decent mule deer buck, uh, too. That's why I came to Timbergold. I felt like we could get a couple of different uh, decent animals in a short amount of time. We've been here just over an hour actually hunting. Uh, we've got four pretty good kills. We had two nice elk, the wolf, and now this mule deer buck. Let's see what he scores. 192, not bad at all. All right, and we'll taxidermize him. All right, cool. So we should have four animals in our trophy manager, which I don't even know how to access that. We're going to go, I guess we'll go to the same lodge we spawned at. I don't think it should matter. Right, so to access the trophy manager, you press I. So we've got large plaque for the couple of elk. Got small plaque, which is for the mule deer. Small round platform looks like birds and stuff. We've got medium platform for our wolf and then large platform would be bear. We didn't get any of them and large round platform would be the bigger birds. All right. So large plaque for our elk. So we can do four of them. Small plaque for our mule deer buck. Wait, where were our elk at? I need to look. We're going to do this instead. So they're on that wall. Can we put the mule deer in between, actually? Will that work? And then medium platform for our wolf. We'll put it right by the door. What is this? Oh, I can rename my lodge. Okay, I'm going to leave it as is for now. I have no idea what that does. All right, let's see what we got going now. Ah, oh, that is sweet. That looks really nice. I'm glad we got two elk. That looks fantastic. All right, and our wolf. Ooh, I like that. I like the full body mount. Looking really good. That looks great. I cannot wait to add to this. What? It's like dogs barking. Weird. Anyway. Yeah, I can't wait to add to my collection here. I'm not going to be mounting every animal I kill like I kind of did in this episode, uh, of course. But from now on, anytime I can get a real nice trophy, I'll definitely be adding it to the trophy lodge. And occasionally, I'll probably come back uh, and show you guys what we got going on. But yeah, I really like it. The possibilities are endless uh, in my mind, too, uh, to the different features they could add. Like maybe a full body mount of elk. Uh, and then if you could do something like having an elk and maybe two or three wolves chasing it, that would be really cool. Uh, or maybe two Ibex fighting, that kind of thing. There's a lot of different possibilities uh, that could potentially be added that hopefully uh, at some point will be. We've definitely got uh, some room in here. I think 21 animals currently is the max that you can put uh, in one lodge. And they are 750 EM uh, to purchase. And then as you saw, it's 10 EM for each animal to mount or 2000 GM 
Uh, so it's not too expensive. You can do some missions for it. I was using EM because I had some left over anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's really going to be fun to decorate the lodges. Hopefully, as I said, I think they are going to make it so you can change these pictures uh, at some point. Hopefully that will be uh, like trophy shots and that kind of stuff. Uh, and it would be really cool if like we could hang some of our weapons around, like maybe uh, up here on the uh, mantle or something like that. There's a lot of possibilities, as I said, and I can't wait to see uh, what else will be added. But yeah, I think that looks fantastic. I'm glad uh, that you can do that where you can have the small plaque uh, in between big plaques and that kind of stuff. That's a really cool uh, ability to be able to have like the mule deer in between the two elk. I think that looks really nice. So yeah, definitely liking this. I'm definitely going to have two different trophy lodges because what I want to do uh, is have like a trophy animal lodge, like really big. Uh, trophy caliber animals and then I want to do one for rares as well so I will have two different ones uh, and also you can access them in multiplayer games so the host of the game currently you can view their trophy lodge uh, just by going uh, to the lodge that says trophy lodge outside if you didn't see that at the beginning of the video right here it'll say trophy lodge uh, and you can access the hosts you'll get the list of them if they have multiple I still don't know what this is maybe that means visible to others in the multiplayer game maybe you can make it so that they can't view it uh but yeah this looks great i am really glad uh that this has been introduced into the game and props to the developers they did a really good job uh with all this and as i said i'm hoping to see more uh additions in the future i definitely want to get a bear though uh to see what that looks like because i think they'll probably be full body mounted because the polar bear was uh, in the teaser picture. So. I thought that was going to be something different to press E there on. Because I thought it had said something about three different poses. But maybe it's the different positions you can put them in the animals. Uh, you can put the animals in in the lodge. But yeah. Definitely looking really good. As I said. Uh, I can't wait to see what else will be added. And I can't wait to add to my collection here. So with that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.